Hello, Kev Howarth, M0TNX. Uh, I just thought I'd put a review of the uh, RA0 SMS uh, QRM eliminator. Uh, I ordered this from Anton about two or three weeks ago and uh, he dispatched it rapidly and uh, it sat in customs for around about seven or eight days on, in Russia before it got to this side of the pond or this side of the world and uh, I promptly received it. Excellent communications from, from Anton all the way through uh, and I ordered this directly from his website. You can order it as a kit or you can order it pre-built here. Uh, I got this with the BNC connectors, <coughs> excuse me, SO, SO239s were not available at the time uh, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, it's quite a simple unit and uh, I'm, I'm really quite made up with the construction of it. Solidly built, a little bit uh, utilitarian looking compared to some of the other QRM eliminators that you see out there. But the price was was absolutely excellent. It really was excellent. Uh, however, there was a slight problem, which I'm going to show you now uh, and how we're going to rectify it. Uh, I have tried the unit and it is working absolutely fantastically. But more about that as we go later on into uh, uh, into. Uh, the review so thanks for watching i do appreciate it and if you like what you see here please give me a like and a subscribe i'm quite a new youtube channel and i'm just trying to publicize my adventures in amateur radio as i go along okay so this is the unit on the on the top on the front face you have your phase you have your gain and gain one gain one is your main antenna Gain two is your noise antenna, or the one that you're using to actually uh, induce noise so you can phase it out. And button three is the phase rotary control. So on the top right hand side here, you've got your power on and off, and you've got a little LED on this top left hand side. If I turn it over and Anton helpfully uh, uh, puts a little label on the back, and you can see the website there where you can order these from, uh, www.ra0sms.ru and I'll put a link to this in the uh, uh, in the comment section be uh, below. As you can see, he labels all the sockets on the QRM eliminator. Uh, and very, very helpful. And as you can see, it's very sturdily made. Like I say, a little bit utilitarian. Three BNC uh, sockets on the back. Now, unfortunately, this one here has arrived a little bit loose now. It's probably come loose in the, in the post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top off and we're going to uh, make a little bit of an adjustment just to get that nice and solid again and make sure that we've got proper earthing throughout. The great thing about this box, it is really compact. So if we're looking at the size there, uh, let's get a proper measurement for you. And you're looking around about 11 meters wide 11 meters, 11 centimeters wide, do excuse me. Just under nine centimeters for the box. So all the protrusions included, you're looking around about 13 centimeters. And the depth of the box, as you can see, just around about five centimeters. So two inches in all money. Let's get to taking the top off the box and just see what the problem is. Now we'll look inside, see how well it's constructed. So to get into the box, it's very, very easy. Four screws. And I'll fast forward this so you're not bored. So that's inside. What have we got? So looking inside the box, power switch, several variable potentiometers or resistors. You've got a little toroid worm there and some other bits and bats. But what we're bothered about is this loose little connection here. As you can see, the other ones are okay, but this could cause us issues in the future. Uh, and it's probably just come loose uh, in transit. So what all it is, it's a 13 millimeter spanner. And as you know, if you've got anything to do, it's one of the hardest spanners to find in the world. They can hide very, very easily. So inside we have one little nut there that's just come a bit loose. Sorry for banging the camera. And we'll just give it a tweak up. There is limited distance in here. I'm, I'm mindful of that capacity to the left-hand side of the shot there. 
Let's see if we can get it that way. And that's nice and solid now. So I'll pop the top back on and we'll connect it up and see what difference it's actually made uh, to the station. Okay, so let's connect the uh, RA0 SMS QRM eliminator up. What have we got? So this is from the SDR Pro RSP1DX. And as you can see, it's connected via USB. And that's going to an old laptop here on the left-hand side of me. It has three inputs. Let's make sure you can see that. Antenna C, antenna B, antenna A. Antenna A can deliver five volts uh, to power preamps and one thing and the other. Uh, antenna B uh, cannot do that. Antenna C, I've not used that yet. And being honest, I I'm not really sure what it's designed to do. I know it's uh, a speciality thing with the BNC thing, but anyway, I'll, I'm only interested in antenna A and antenna B. Normally I use antenna B uh, for VHF. Uh, the antenna B on there is a, a disc on with, uh, with HF capability. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the BNC into here for transceiver. So there we go, TRX, that's gonna go into the center. Onto auxiliary, which is this one here, we're gonna put antenna B, which is the disc on. And onto antenna A, which is the main antenna. You can see I've got a, a bias T here, uh, this gives 12 volts to a cross-country wireless loop amplifier, uh, the loop antenna amplifier plus board. I have to say I've been absolutely over the moon with it and the service from uh, cross-country wireless was second to none. But anyway, we'll plug this in. And the last thing to do is to fit the power plug and we can see the little green LED lights up. So we'll shut it down for the time being and we'll, uh, we'll open the, the PC up and see where we go with that and show you how it works. So this is 40 metres and as you can see I've got quite a big spread of noise at the moment. That's where the QRM eliminator off. The, the QRM is up and down slightly but you can see the big swathes of it there. There you go. QRM eliminator on. There's a big station there on 7017 that's splattering a little bit. RZ station. And you can see the station is working his way down. You're obviously going to get him there. Let's put the QRM eliminator off. You can see the splatter there, and that's what we're getting from the QRM. Can't hear the station. Can't see the station. Has he moved? There you go. The antenna isn't in the right direction at the moment. It's actually aimed at the QRM, which is uh, two the south of me, uh, oh sorry, to the north of me, the antenna is pointing north-south. Uh, but you can see there, I mean, if I go east-west, I don't know if it'll make any difference uh, to the station signal. Let's see what happens. Not a lot happening there, is there? I'll leave it at that. That's pointing uh, northeast. So that's the QRM eliminator off.
and on. It's a bit of an adjustment there. And you can see the weak station coming through. QRM eliminator on, that's right off, and on. I think there's enough proof there for you, isn't there? Cheers. So QRM eliminators, do they work? Yeah, they do. Uh, this is only my limited experience with this one from from Anton, uh, RA0 SMS. Uh, I know my friend Keith, G3SLU, has bought one from uh, from eBay. And he's been over the moon with it. Uh, pretty much the same results as that you see in here, uh, that it's they work, they do work. Uh, the one thing that you've got to have though, is you've got to have an antenna that is receiving the noise louder than it is actually receiving the signal to get good results. You can get varying results if the antenna that you're using as the sense antenna, uh, as in the auxiliary antenna, uh, is still receiving the signal, uh, but is also receiving the noise at a higher level. However, if it's receiving signal at a higher level than the noise, you may have a little bit of an issue trying to get rid of it. I can't remember what I paid uh, from Anton. I think it was around about £45 when the conversion came in. Uh, his communication was second to none. Uh, the service, the tracking uh, was, was excellent, apart from uh, sitting in Russia for quite a while before it got here. But once it cleared Russia and it got to Heathrow, uh, the, the QRL eliminator was delivered pretty quickly. Would I rate him again? Would I buy from him again? Definitely, uh, definitely. Superb experience with him. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'm not an expert, but if I can help you in any way, you know, if there's something that you, you'd like to ask a question about, and if I can help, please, in the bottom there, drop us a question and we'll see what I can do to, to help you. I'll be doing a few more uh, videos as we go through my return to amateur radio after around about a six or seven year layoff. Um, the next thing is gonna be uh, buying a radio. Uh, I've got one in mind, uh, but again, that's another video for another day. Take care, uh, look after each other in these particularly weird times. Enjoy your radio, stay safe, and we'll catch up with you again soon.